My name is Sam and I'm the Grand Prospirator of Corporate Learning. Today I was doing some reflection on um, this trend that's kind of taken over in the last five to ten years where there's been a real focus on uh, customer experience and customer intimacy. Now what's been interesting is, you know, as the, a lot of the front line is the sales force has actually been kind of uh, measured against customer experience or customer intimacy, there's also been a growing trend to look at this concept of internal customers. And like the theory behind the, the, the focus is really that for an organization to function effectively, everybody needs to have their eyes on the customer. That essentially, even as a support function, you are actually supporting another person so that they can actually in turn support the, the end customer. And I, I totally see the logic of this. But what often that gets ha happens within an organization is that um, people shortcut thinking through the implications of this kind of support model and kind of start saying, you know what, the things that you're uh, measuring me okay, against uh, with an end customer are the same things that you really should measure um, uh, in terms of people that are supporting me to deliver. So this is actually where I think the analogy uh, breaks down a little bit because, you know, support functions do not um, actually work uh, with um, the, the like whoever they're supporting as a customer. They actually work as a partner, and there, there, there's huge implications to this because um, oftentimes, as a partner, I may do what is in the best interest of the company, what's in the best interest of the end customer. Um, sometimes at the detriment or at the disapproval of the person that you're supporting. So you think about any HR process, you know, nobody really says, oh, I love, you know, uh, that you have this governance process put in place or, oh, I love the fact that, you know, um, you guys have uh, kind of standards around um, what we look for when it comes to uh, performance. But it may be in the best interest of the company to have that. A um, uh, situation that I can relay um, recently has, has been where um, we've been trying to help drive a uh, renewal um, of, of the learning content that we have. And my team is actually responsible for uh, enabling that to happen because we actually run the technology and we do the training around how to use the technology so that content can be created. But one of the teams that I, I work with has been kind of going on a lot about, um, you know, you, you, you're not providing a very good customer experience because, you know, look at this tool. It has, um, it, it has a gray bar beside it. And, and you know what? That, like, look at the font. It's not very good. And, you know, the training that you actually were offering us um, around how to use this tool, you know, you, it, it really sucked because you didn't, um, you didn't send me an agenda the day before. You didn't, um, you didn't actually provide lunch. You didn't, like, so there's all these kind of really funny things that as you start to consider, it makes sense to say as a customer, if you're consuming those services, it doesn't make any sense when you're talking about partnership towards enabling the end customer. 